Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we have the final LEGO Marvel Avengers Manhattan Hub Free Roam video. This is going to be hub number 9 for the Shield Helicarrier. And if you've been following along, this is going to actually complete all of the Manhattan area. And uh, this should complete all of the hubs and actually get us all the final collectibles that we need, including all 12 gold bricks, all four of the character tokens left, and of course the two vehicle tokens as well. So here we are. We've spawned in Central Park quite possibly for our last time Nah, it's probably not true we got some trophy achievement videos we'll have to do but we're gonna head over to the dock over on the pond here and we're gonna activate this uh, it's actually a vehicle spawn machine but it actually gives us the option to spawn up on the helicarrier so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head away from the main control tower out onto one of these wings here and it just so happens to be that there is this giant looks like a propane or gas container next to a box we're gonna destroy that box and guess what we're gonna build up a speed boost pad and then the camera is gonna pan back and show us a whole bunch of pressure sensitive switches well we're not gonna have to worry about that too much we just simply change over to Quicksilver or another fast speedy character and uh, charge up on that speed boost pad and watch him run around the cycle and uh, charge up that box and look at that it reveals a go break which happens to be the first of a handful that we're gonna get in the next couple of minutes here so uh, watch out for that gold brick air biscuit but uh, once you collect that we're gonna go ahead and make our way back up onto the the main deck here and we're gonna head over to the back side and there is this race it looks like it might be a foot race but it's not it's an aerial race so we're gonna go ahead and choose a flying character and we're gonna start that race and we're gonna fly around now this one's kind of tricky it kind of uh, it flies by that purple circle at least one time I think we go by one more time but it's kind of confusing maybe it's the other race that flies by this one but uh, they try to kind of try to mess you up in fact I think that's something that they should fix uh, the races are kind of difficult enough yeah here it is it would fly right by it again it makes you think oh Oh, no it's the end of the race but it's not and uh, they should change it so that when a, a race is active you shouldn't be able to see the other race rings like you shouldn't be able to see the start of another race when you're already in a race you know what I'm saying but uh, all right so blue circle blue circle blue circle blue circle blue circle it's kind of like duck duck goose blue circle blue circle purple circle <laughs> That's what we need anyways, and we've made a couple of laps around the helicarrier. Oh, and look at that. There's the final circle. It's playable, and Booyaka Shao. We're going to get the shield mini carrier vehicle token unlocked for completing that one. Now we're going to go ahead and switch on over to Iron Man because we need to get some scannage on, and we're going to actually drop under the right-hand side of the helicarrier. I guess it's the right-hand side. I don't know. But uh, we, this is actually a really difficult one, and, and I'll explain why here in a second. You're going to start off with a scan, though, and the scan's going to actually reveal a couple of chains hanging from the ceiling. And this is a real crazy, like, depth perception issue. At least it was for me. And I, I do an edit here, but you will need a character with the stealth ability, and you'll need to uh, have a lot of patience, potentially, and uh, maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but I had a hard time hitting that second chain. And uh, you do have to swing out there or do a double jump to get it. Unfortunately, I, I'm not aware of a character that has the flying ability as well as the stealth ability. There's probably one or five, but I wasn't aware of it. Um, if there was one, that would have been a heck of a lot easier than uh, doing what I did. It took me about 20 tries. But uh, anyway, we grabbed the gold brick. Now we've flown all the way to the very top of the helicarrier up on the control tower. And we see that there is this generator in need of repair. So I fixed that with Iron Man. And then I tried to cheat because I can see there's a deflective pad. And there's one of those power nodes where we have to deflect that laser beam over to it. And I thought, well, maybe Iron Man's laser beam is strong enough. But nope, no such luck. Uh, but we switch to Captain. We go ahead and deflect that laser beam. And look at that. We've got another gold brick. All right, so this one was kind of tricky, too. There are a handful of these security cameras, but they're not the average security camera. They're just kind of like these weird floating security camera things. Speaking of floating, I jumped off the helicarrier, and it made me float way up higher than I needed to be. But all right, you can see these cameras. Uh, we're going to target them. There's the first one down under the deck. The second one is over to the left. Uh, the third one is up above, right where we started, kind of fell down from below or up above. 
um, and the other one's right next to it. So there's there's five of them, and to be honest with you, that happened really fast. You might have to go back and click that gold brick number four quick link again. But, uh, yeah, there are all five of them there. I highly suggest finding all five of them before starting it. But, uh, yeah. Anyhow, we've made it our way up to the top here. Uh, this one's not at the top, 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 but it's in the middle of the top of the hill carrier. We have this uh, shock terminal that needs repair. So we've repaired that with Iron Man. And now we're going to go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up with Black Widow and her charge sticks. Of course, Thor and many other characters would do the trick as well. But we find that these charge sticks are actually a little bit faster and more efficient than charging up Thor's hammer each and every time. So um, there may be some other characters, too, that may be even faster. But uh, at this point, I am unaware of them. But uh, once both of those panels are charged up, they're going to reveal a black or cosmic brick box inside. So we've switched to Ultimate Ultron. We manipulate those bricks and grab our gold brick. All right, dropping right off down below. We're kind of on the lower deck area here. And uh, we can see there's this character standing here in need of some mind controlage. So we switch to the vision and control the character to make him go over and flip that switch. You can see it's removed some laser bars, preventing us from getting into this little cubby here. But we go ahead and do the little cha-cha-cha-cha to them boxes. And it reveals some pieces that we build into it. Techno panel. And this is just a matter of pressing the uh, up or down or left or right, whichever is indicated in the correct order. And it'll open up this final little area area which we can smash that box and grab that brick grab that brick that's right a little devo action um uh, so here we go we've got another race this was another flying one and this is on the lower deck just where we just were and this one we're gonna do a few laps flying around out look how far up up and away we are and of course uh just as a reminder if you're having troubles with any of the races they all do have a gold requirement that uh, you need to get in order to get that vehicle token that is always rewarded. This one happens to be for the shield jet fighter. Now, uh, I still haven't unlocked any extra characters or any vehicles, so we're at the very end, and at this point, we will have all of them unlocked. I'll just need to purchase them, and uh, I think we're going to do a video for that. I don't know how in-depth we'll be. We might, uh, we might just unlock them all and see how much money it takes. We, we might not even do one. We've got uh, some other stuff coming up real soon, and this project has been stretched out a lot longer than we anticipated. But, hey, there was a lot of stuff to do, and uh, some of the stuff was pretty methodical, like uh, Manhattan, getting uh, all the, you know, the missions in the right order and all that. But uh, All right, we found that Poipo Cycle, and we got that Shield Jet Fighter vehicle token, and uh, that's actually going to wrap it up for all of the outside Helicarrier stuff. So we're going to drop down inside, and this one's really tricky. Turns out one of our viewers was actually missing this one character token. They thought they had them all, but it turns out they were missing just one, and look at that, Mockingbird is tucked in there, and that may have been one you stumbled across early, and uh, may have been one you didn't even know was there. Uh, of course, the uh, vehicle token and character token finders, I think there's just a character token finder now that I'm saying that, uh, will help you find those, but uh, hopefully if uh, you didn't know, now you know, and no one's half the battle. G.I. Joe! Anybody remember that? That was old school. All right, in the middle of the control... Uh, center area here we're gonna go ahead and use this shield access terminal kind of in the middle back right area and uh, it actually charges up some power to this techno panel so we're gonna go ahead and get our oomph, oomph on. And uh, this is another one of those arrow ones, so we just have to press the arrows indicated in the right order. More than likely, it's going to be different for you. We've noticed that those ones are fairly random, but hey, they could be the same. If they are, drop us a comment. If it wasn't, uh, you know, hopefully you'll get it right. And uh, if you don't, it'll repeat the process and give you another one, and uh, you'll get it eventually. All right, we're making our way down the hallway here, and we're going to tuck into this first room on the left. And look at that. Oh, Cho, no, they didn't. This is one of my favorite <laughs> named missions here. I thought that was pretty fun with the old word play there. But uh, in this particular case, we actually have to search and... Uh, oh, no, no, we don't. We have to go flip a switch on over here. That's right. We have to come over here and flip this switch. And it's going to open up a shock terminal here. So we've got Black Widow out. And luckily, she has her charge stick. So we go ahead and pom, 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 pom it up, which opens up a techno panel. So we got our oomphs, oomphs. Oons, 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 oons. Uh, I, I don't know if that was a good beat or not, but uh, we got our oons on regardless, and uh, we solved that puzzle, which is just simply a matter of pressing the shape indicated on the box there. And uh, next one, we're kind of playing a game of, uh, whatchamacallit here, Operation. And, oh, no, we got it all right, and now it's going to fill up the old meter there, and booyah ka -show. We've got one last little feature over here that we need to go ahead and, uh, well, I guess that's it. Nope, that's it. 
We just need to talk to her, which it automatically happens. And guess what? We're going to get a character token for Iron Man Make 25. So that should complete all of the different Iron Mans for us. And uh, look at that. We only have a couple of locked tokens there. And uh, we're going to get them all, I promise. We actually mapped this all out. We had to play all of Manhattan and make sure we got all of the characters and all of the vehicle tokens and all the gold bricks. We didn't want to get all the way to the end and be like, oh, um, yeah, so there's like four gold bricks missing. Sorry about that. So we had to do it all, which is kind of why it took so long for us to get these last few videos out. But uh, we got them. And uh, now I was kind of uh, confused on what needed to be done because there is another mission in this area. But you have to leave the room and come back for it to respawn. So we actually go and do some other things first. We're actually going to head all the way to the very back of the hallway here. And it's going to take us into this other room, which normally most of the important stuff is off to the right. And, and we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, we're going to head over to the left. And look at that. There's a deflection pad and a laser beam up there. So we're going to switch to Captain. And hop on that by pressing uh, Soikle, or I guess it could be B or another button, depending on which console or system you're playing on. And we're just going to simply deflect this beam to the two power nodes, and it's going to open up the right and the left box. And one of them gives us gold brick, and one of them gives us stud. So, uh, hey, quick reminder, there are some quick links down below in the video description. We do have a half a second here of some non-collectible moments. Uh, there's this, uh, well, I guess, I mean, you, you may be in need of some studage. Uh, you can pump up this shock panel here, and it's going to blow up this box and give us some, uh, yeah, just some studage. But uh, now, more importantly, in this next room over here, we're actually going to find the next gold brick. And this one was kind of funny. I say funny because I get owned big time on this gold brick. Uh, you start off by heading up the stairs on the left side of the room and melting this gold wall here. It's just a simple gold wall. You don't need to carve anything out or anything like that. But uh, beyond the wall, there are these moving kind of rock uh, squishers, I guess you will. And they also have laser beams on them. So they're like rock squishers with laser, with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. And uh, you got to watch out because they will get the job done. And I kept trying to squeeze through here, but I just couldn't get there through there in time. So I switched to Loki with the old I see in a box. And I try to, you know, put it out, but it's one of those weird angles where the camera's actually shooting outside of the windows rather than down the hallway there. I eventually get a couple of them, but I don't think I get them all. But it's enough for me to advance, but I think I get squished one more time before moving forward. So, yeah. So, you know, I'd love to say that I, like, did this for comical purposes and that I really didn't mean to get squished a thousand times. Or, I, or, or sorry, that I meant to get squished, but I really didn't mean to, so... Um, all right, take your time. Captain America probably would have been a pretty good choice for this, too, because um, he could have just ran through there and then did the old stamp, you know. But anyhow, we make it all the way to the end eventually, I promise. And I think we make it all the way right now. Yay! Oh, and look at that. There is a twirly pole at the end that you need. So Captain America would have been the perfect guy for the job. But uh, I got impatient and pulled out Loki because I thought he would have helped out a little better. But turns out, learn from my experience and <laughs> grab that gold brick. Glad there's no sound effect like that every time because that'd be pretty ridiculous. All right, so there's the custom character creator. We have a trophy achievement that we'll probably do a video for on that. It just depends on you guys. To be honest with you, we'll record it all. Um, and, you know, depending on whether we feel it's needed, hard, easy, peasy, whatever, uh, we'll do a video or not. All right, here's the detention cell. We're going to head all the way over to the far right side, and we're going to see that inside the detention area there, there's a grate. And on the right side, there's some boxes that can be slammed. And, uh, ooh, look at that. There's a grate. So we switch to the vision and slide on through. And luckily for us, he can also perform the scan that needs to be done next. So, uh, yeah, I, it's kind of hit and miss. I found that sometimes he can do those and sometimes he can't. And I still have yet to have anybody explain to that as to why that is. Uh, but anyhow, we scan. We reveal this silver Loki chest. So we switch to Iron Man. Uh, any silver brick breaker will do, but that one gets it done. And check it out. We've got gold brick number 10 in the bag now. And next is going to be a character token. And we're going to head back into that first room on the left where I told you there was two missions. But the first one, oh, sorry, the second one would not spawn. But now it's going to. We're going to make our way back in there. And look at that. There she is. She has moved to the back of the room. And this one doesn't have as cool of a name. It's called Weapon of Choice, though. And there's going to be a whole bunch of weapons scattered throughout the inside of the helicarrier. And, you know, luckily for us, there's only four of them. And there's four blips on our compass. So we're going to go ahead and find all of those. And it turns out there's none in this first room. 
but there is some all the way back from where we just came from. Look at that. It's all the way. So turns out we may have saved ourselves a little bit of trouble now by getting rid of that panel earlier. So that's probably what it was because when you run into this area here, there is that shield uh, access terminal, the scan terminal over here. And uh, that actually opens up a box that has the second weapon. As you can see, I'm kind of like, well, which way did it go? Which way did it go? Oh, there we go. We'll go ahead and scan ourselves and see what happens. And sure enough, it opens up that box. So now that I'm saying that, I'm actually positive that that's what that, that shock panel was in that very back room there. But uh, all right, so the first two are on the left side. We have got both of those. The third one is actually in this main control center area, and it's going to be over on the left-hand side. You may have noticed that there's this big glass case in need of some sonar arrows. So we switch to Hawkeye and get some on, and look at that. It busts it open, and we got to give it a little, little, uh, little incentive to fall out of the case there, but we swoop it up, and we'll roll on over to the far right side, which actually is up top here we see some big green handles up there so we could switch to the hulk but we also know that ultimate ultron has the super strength ability too so just to keep things small and under control we'll go ahead and switch to him and we'll rip that open and we find the fourth and final item so now we can go ahead and head all the way back to dr cho and uh oh look at that we're actually gonna get the character token for her so isn't that special all right here we go. Just simply walk up and hit the icon indicated, and she will go ahead and give you a nice little speech. We'll go ahead and skip most of it, and we'll collect our token. Thank you very much. All right, come on now. Anytime. There we go. So it turns out that wasn't Dr. Helen Cho we were talking to. My bad. I thought it was. It just That's just a shield scientist. So, All right, all the things on the left-hand side uh, are finished. Although we do have a little mission where we have to find a bunch of berries, if I remember right. Um, yeah, here we go. This is Buddy right here. What's up there? How's it going there, Agent Williams? Yeah, we got to find a bunch of blueberries for him, and uh, that's not a problem. Uh, there's ten of them scattered throughout the ship. The first one is over in the far left corner, kind of hiding behind the silver box. Or no, it's not. I lied. It is. It's over there. No, you got to use, that's right, you got to use the telekinetic abilities on this garbage can. Woohoo! All right, see, I was trying to avoid breaking that silver box over there because that silver box is a gold brick, and I didn't want to overlap a quest for a character token and a gold brick in the same spot. I know I could have. I could have just noted that, but I tried not to, and uh, luckily it worked out. But uh, So use the telekinetic abilities back there to go ahead and shake that stuff up and grab that one. The second one is right under the stairwell where we got the mission to start with. And it uh, looks like we've got one inside the control center room here. It's actually over in the back right, just kind of by the stairway to go up there. You might have to smash a little desk there to see it. But uh, we've got three blueberries now. And next, we're actually going to go. It looked like there was one back there in that control center area. We'll come back for that one. Uh, next, there's, ooh, look at this. There's some shatter glass in the hallway here. We'll go ahead and get some. Look at that. We destroyed it. And there's another one. And all right, so we got four. We'll head into this left science room. And you know what? There's one. It's all the way back behind that thing, I believe. We run right by it. And I think, e nope, nope, I was wrong. Where is it? There's one in here, isn't there? Pretty sure there's one in here. Maybe there's not one in here. No, there is one in here. Where are you? Where are you? Did I destroy something? What's going on here? I got four, I got four, I got four. Oh, oh. That's right. So it's in the blue box. You got to destroy that blue box behind that little uh, counter there. And uh, yeah, so we got five. We're moving on over. I uh, uh, wasn't sure if there was one in the collector room or not. Kind of looks like there's one in here, but it turns out they are not in here. Um, there are none in the collector's room at all, if I remember right. Yep, that's right. So get out of here, kid. You bother me. That's what the collector was saying to us, I'm sure. Yeah, all right, so we'll make our way into the detention hall here. And, uh, okay, so over on the far right side, there is a new spider web that I don't remember being there. So we'll take that out, and sure enough, there was one behind it. And now we'll fly up, up, and away, back all the way to the end of the hallway here. And sure enough, 
We're going to find one over on the left-hand side. We have to destroy a box that I don't remember being there either. So this looks like uh, this mission has definitely spawned some things that were not here previously. Ooh, there's one over here on this little lab bed. We'll grab that. And I think there's one over here by the uh, character selection wheel. Yep, there's another spider web. So look at that. We'll grab that by taking out the spider web and jumping up on that little, it looks like a scanner. I don't like those kind of scanners. A little claustrophobic, if I'm being honest. Um, all right, so uh, one left, and if you remember, there was one in that control room area here. It's just actually towards the elevator, so make sure you don't go up. We're going to go, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's up there on the left-hand side. It's up on the left walkway, so make your way up there, grab it, and now we can make our way back to Agent Williams, who's, if you remember, over here on the far right side, but the silver arrow will help get you there if you forgot. And all right, so here we go. We'll go ahead and speak to him. And then guess what? We only have two more gold bricks left. That kind of came quick. These videos are kind of long, and I kind of get lost in them sometimes. And all of a sudden, we're at the end, and I'm like, whoa. But we get the Protector character token for completing that mission. And that'll actually give us all 196 character and vehicle tokens. But uh, we still have a couple of gold bricks to grab. So we're going to go ahead and take out this silver box. Which I'm sure was no surprise to you, but uh, last but not least, over here there's kind of this little twirly pole puzzle where there are three twirly pole switches we need to spin to win on. Here we go, we got one, and it's going to give us power. You can see there's three nodes, we got one of three. The next one we're going to use the agility wall to get up, up, and away, spins and wins, and guess what? Two of three, last but not least, you can actually use that chain to get up there, but I had so much of a hassle with those earlier chains, I just chose to fly up there because there was no restrictions. So I chose Thor, I flew up there, and I'm going to switch back to Captain, spin to win one last time, and guess what? We're going to drop down and grab the final gold brick. To be completely honest with you, I, I was kind of tracking along with my notes, but I wasn't 100%. I thought there might have been one last thing I needed to do, but here in a second, I get pretty excited, and I start jumping around, and uh, yeah, all right, come on, yes, we know. We, are, we I like how it's telling us how we open it, even though we've already unlocked it, and look at that. That is all of them, and we're going to go ahead and prove it to you right as we get up top here. Ready? Ready? Wait for it. All right, here comes the totals. All right, 196 out of 196, 150 out of 150, 250 out of 250, 15 out of 15, 15 out of 15, 35 out of 35. Oh, Billy, that is indeed all of them. And here you can see the Manhattan-specific stuff, and we got them all. Oh, my goodness, that is amazing. I I'm sure it, I'm sh hopefully you're as excited as we are. Otherwise, we we're kind of standing out here. Look, we're still jumping for joy. Woo, woo, woo. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Avengers Manhattan Hub number 9 Shield Helicarrier Free Roam. And that's actually going to wrap it up for the Free Roam series. So we've got the story done, we've got the free play done, and now the Free Roam is done, which only leaves the trophy achievement cleanup. So be looking for some other videos coming soon. If you guys have any questions or comments, Head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. We always love hearing your feedback, even if it's just, hi, because sometimes we get that too. But uh, hey, if you guys have any requests, maybe you have a question like, why won't this work, or something like that, we're always here to help. Leave us a comment, and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. As for me, I'm going to go try to knock out the rest of these trophy achievements. Oh to the yeah, as always, until next time. That's all, folks. See ya.